When I first meet a patient who has a new diagnosis, they're devastated, they're shattered. They know that this is a cancer that many people don't survive. I knew I was in trouble. The question was, how much longer would I have? I guess I knew it was lethal. They have a preconceived idea that this is a death sentence. That's not true. Our late co-founder, she thought that the message around pancreatic cancer was terrible. And she was going to change that on behalf of all patients. She was very powerful, my mom. She was a visionary, but she really knew how to connect her ideas to action. It was May 9th, 2014. It was Mother's Day weekend. We were supposed to go away together. She was like, I'm not sure if we're going to leave today because I have a little problem. I knew that something was really off. She said that she had actually gone to a dermatological appointment and they noticed that she was jaundice. That was connected to a tumor in the pancreas. A few weeks after she got this initial news, the surgeon just looked at us and he said, this is a devastating, devastating diagnosis. Our lives were totally turned upside down and we were all just completely shocked. I think what happened to my mom after that was she like got right to work. <laughs> When Anne first came to me as a patient, she had seen a few other doctors already, and they were very negative with her. They said, you have stage four pancreatic cancer, you're gonna die very soon, get your affairs in order, no one can help you. She said, this is not the message that we have to give patients. We have to tell patients that there is hope and that there are treatments. My mom, my brother, and I, we stayed up researching top doctors and best researchers and connected to them. And she wanted to get information out there about alternatives to standard of care and about other treatments to change the outcomes for everyone else who gets this diagnosis. We launched Let's Win back in 2016. And over the years, we have published the work of nearly 200 medical professionals from over 85 institutions. A patient can go onto the website and find the latest and greatest information about pancreatic cancer from the clinical trials that are going on, from the treatments that work, and most powerful, to hear stories of survivors who have lived and beat pancreatic cancer. That brings so much hope to people. You stay as positive as you can, but there are moments when you look in the mirror and your hair is just about gone. <laughs> You read the stories on Let's Win that keep popping up, and there was some woman, a long-term survivor. And then there was another story about somebody else that was 10 years, 20 years. So you reach out to people and say, hey, how'd this work and how'd that work? And it's just a matter of trying to figure out what will work and what won't work. What's really exciting now in the treatment of pancreatic cancer is that we do have treatments other than chemotherapy. And one of the tools is a novel way of delivering radiation therapy to patients. It's MRI-guided radiation therapy. When someone takes a deep breath in and a deep breath out, their organs move, and so the tumor moves. And we use the MRI machine to make sure that the beams of radiation go exactly where they're supposed to go without scatter to other organs. And that's what's really, really important about this technology. When you hear radiation, I think that was one of the scariest things for me, but this is different. It's not like old school radiation. It's very precise. Side effects have been minimal. Our hope is that with more studying and more trials, we'll be able to advance this modality and bring it to more patients. It brings me so much joy when a patient will print out something that they saw on Let's Win and say, what is this MRI guided therapy? Can I have this? Can I get this? That's really the power of Let's Win. It's empowering for the patient. It's empowering for the physician. My mom would be so grateful that wonderful people who are working so hard on Let's Win every day keep me my mom's legacy alive and her memory alive and this work that hopefully continues to help so many people. Anne gave this to all of us to connect us. It reminds us how important Anne was to this disease, how she's really changed the conversation about pancreatic cancer. I truly believe through her efforts that survival will improve as patients have more access to these therapies.
It's not about just, maybe we'll buy you another day. It's about living another five, 10, 20, 30 years. Every day that goes by now is a winning day because tomorrow they can find a cure.